And welcome back to The Watchmen. National security for Israel, for America, how the two are linked is one of the main themes of our show. Israel's enemies are America's enemies, the same radical forces that seek to wipe Israel off the map, as we have told you many times, have that bullseye on the back of every American citizen and everyone in the West as well. We live in perilous times, so we brought together two of the world's top global security and Middle East experts to make sense of it all. Harold Rode and Dan Diker are two of the top experts at the Jerusalem Center for Public Affairs. And we convened a Watchmen all-star panel with these two top authorities to talk about all of the latest news in the Middle East. Take a look. Dan, I want to start with you. There's a shadow being cast. We talk about these problems from an American perspective. Iran, number one. There's a shadow being cast from Tehran across this region. Tell our viewers why it's not just a problem for Israel, but for the world. You know, Eric, um, in 1979, Ayatollah Khomeini made a promise. And that promise was that, that Iran would not only cast a dark shadow across the Middle East, but across the entire world. They promised, in the words of Khomeini, to take over the Middle East and ultimately the entire world. And if we look at the Middle East today, Eric, the Iranians are keeping their promise. It was, it was King Abdullah II of Jordan who said in 2004 that the Iranians are on the march to take over every country in the Middle East, and then they're going to look towards the United States and the rest of the free world and ultimately the whole world, and that's happening. Looks what's happening in Iraq. The Iranians control Iraq. The Iranians are controlling uh, Syria. The Iranians are controlling Lebanon through Hezbollah and other groups. The Iranians today are even weaponizing financing and directing the Sunni Hamas in Gaza. That's just the beginning of what King Abdullah II called the Shiite Crescent, or the radical Shiite Crescent. And Dan, great point. He said that in 2004. This was before Syria. This was before the Houthis in Yemen. And now Iran has really fulfilled that prophecy, I guess you would say, from King Abdullah. Harold, can you talk about, and this question might be for an entire show in the future, but as brief as you can, I guess, Talk about the ideology. You're such an expert in this, Harold, the jihadist ideology. Talk about the ideology that drives Iran's policies here in the region. Iran is the head of the Shiite world, and the Sunnis, they're the largest group. They're about 86% of maybe the one and a half billion Muslims in the world. But in Iran is, is, what is it, maybe 12% that is the Shiites that's yeah. a lot of people, two to three hundred million people. But still, now what's going on here? There is an internal war. There never in the Middle East is such things as bygones be bygones. The, the problem between the Shiites and the Sunnis started when their prophet Muhammad died, in, in, they believe, in the year about 631 AD. Now, since then, since you can never put any problems behind you, that problem will fester forever. Whose Islam is right? And that is what is going on here. So the Shiites, headed again by the Iranian government, are trying to first, as Dan said before, they want to take over the Sunni world, make them into Shiites, and then take over the, slowly in the entire world. And if you look at their missile program, they're doing intercontinental ballistic missiles now, which will hit the United States of America. That's why it matters to the American people. That's right. Iran has that large, great point, Harold, that large uh, medium range, short range missile stockpile, but those ICBMs are not for Israel or even for Europe. They're for the great Satan, Yes. uh, for the United States. And Harold, you mentioned that Sunni Shia uh, squabbling and war going on, been going on for centuries. I thought it was interesting recently, Dan, the new Saudi crown prince, uh, Mohammed bin Salman, uh, compared Khamenei, the Iranian supreme leader, to Hitler, and even he was sounding the alarm about Iran's march across the region. It was, Eric. It's a very important point that for the first time, as, uh, as far as Israel, the, the nation state of the Jewish people is concerned, there has been a sea change for the moment yeah. in its relationship with the Gulf states, with Saudi Arabia uh, driving uh, the Middle Eastern yeah. Sunni Gulf state policy, and has actually partnered with Israel along with other states uh, in the region that are amenable to Israel, like yeah. Egypt and like Jordan, uh, uh, you know, to face c- 
confront this Iranian nuclear threat. And it is a major nuclear threat, which is why the JCPOA, what was called the Iran deal, oh. that was uh, the architect of which was former President Obama, yeah. is so dangerous for the United States and, and one that I know that Israel and the United States and uh, are, are actually leading the charge to turn that deal back, uh, yeah. either fix it or nix it. Yeah. Gentlemen, much more coming up after the break. Harold and Dan both mentioned, folks, the improving U.S.-Israel relationship and alliance. We're going to talk more about that after the break. It's The Watchman. It's Kufi. Only right here on TBN from Jerusalem. Stick around. <laughs>